What is good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Lotus Score, the one who never knows best. Bring you some more Dragon Ball Fighters rank matches. And today, I have a confession. I'm what you might call toxic. <laughs> I, I've, I've been known to, to throw on my fair share of uh, negativity and, 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 and insults, you know what I'm saying? I, I try to keep it all in game for the most part. It's all in good fun of trash talking while playing fighting games. But, uh,. Don't always go over too well with everybody, and understandably so, but it do be like that when it be like that. But, uh, you know, in today's video, no toxicity. No, no, now, despite the fact that we're somehow, again, fighting Black Star Baki uh, for the second day in a row as our first opponent in this match today, and he's still running the UI Goku, Vegito, and Kefla team, we're, we're, we're not going to be toxic. I decided that I was going to jump into rank today, playing Andrew 18, Trunks, and Super Saiyan Vegeta. So you know, you'll notice I'm playing Trunks mid as opposed to Anchor. And I'm not playing Android 18 at all because she's already dead. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but this is actually the team that I would probably play if I could go back in time to when the game was new. Um, this is probably the team I would play back when Super Saiyan Vegeta Sis was still really busted. And uh, Android 18 was even nastier than she currently is. And Trunks was mm, probably a lot worse, but it's Trunks, so I was always going to play him, right? Uh, and this is actually the team Chris G played. Uh, you know, at the start of the game's lifespan, and uh, did really well with it. And I remember, I'll never forget, I'll never forget when Chris G was fucking up everybody on the West Coast, and Sonic Fox was, was was watching everybody on the East Coast, right? And then they finally met up, Winter Brawl 2018, and then I believe it was in top 16, Chris G sent Sonic to losers. I think, I think Chris G won too well, and then Sonic did what Sonic does. And came back and made it to grand finals loser side and beat Chris G 6-0. It was it, it was insane. Not only did he 3-0 to reset the bracket, he then 3-0 to win to win the tournament. And this is back when Sonic was still playing hit Goku Black and Android 16. Now Android 16 was incredibly broken at the time. Hit and Goku Black, very much not so, even though a lot of people thought Goku Black was very strong back then. And he was stronger than he is currently. He had some things before that he no longer has, but far from a broken character um but yeah that's like one of the tournaments like i always think think about uh think back on and look back at uh because it was just it's it was just so crazy and uh we're currently getting washed by Baku. we beat him too well i think the last two times we fought him but uh not off to a very strong start today um also, I might mention, and this isn't John, it's just coincidence that now I finally, I'd let him do that shit again. Uh, it's just a coincidence that I decided now's a good time to bring this up. Uh, I have not slept yet. Uh, as of the recording of this video, I have been awake for a little over 24 hours. Um, and I, I'm doing this because I'm trying to reset the old sleep schedule yet again. Y'all know me. I, uh, I'm very bad about getting um, a, a, a decent amount of sleep and staying on track with that. So, I, you know, every, every time I get this far, of course, I have to... Uh, stay awake for a very long period of time and try to reset myself and so that's what i'm doing here today um hopefully you know <laughs> but uh yeah oh how many of y'all are keeping up with you know the guilty gear strive news and everything that's going on with that game because i'm not gonna lie as much as i as much as i want to be excited for guilty gear strive and play that game when it comes out they, they're making it really hard, man. They're making some very strange decisions with that game, man. This whole lobby system, the rank matches, the UI. It's just like, the gameplay looks kind of cool, and the characters look sick, but it's just like, they're making it hard. They're making it really hard to be excited for that game. Although, they, they are doing rollback, so that's a thing. And I didn't get my backdash, though. That sucks. Well, it's UI Goku, so it probably would have caught my backdash anyway. Um, But yeah, I just... I really just don't understand some of the decisions they're making with, with you know the strangest thing to me about guilty gear well no it, it, it's, it's all strange but like the thing i don't get when it comes to like the, the ui design is like for one it's it's just bad it, in my opinion i guess it's subjective some of you might like it i think it's terrible i think it is honestly not, not and i'm not speaking about the graphics but just from a design standpoint the menus the screens the fonts and everything you know the the health bars and all that i think it is the worst looking modern fighting game I have seen in the last several years. I think the menus and and and, and everything like that, the gauges all look awful. Uh, and it's insane to me that it looks the way that it does because it's not Guilty Gear esque at all. Like, I don't know when Guilty Gear decided they were a minimalist game, but that's just not their aesthetic whatsoever. So I just really, really don't get who who came up with that idea and then who proceeded to give it the okay. I just 
I really just don't understand, man. Like, in, in the slightest bit, I truly don't get it. Also, I had, I definitely just tried to tick throw and I got auto combo. Love when that happens. Um, I hadn't mentioned it yet, but I am also running trunks with the, uh, the beam assist as opposed to change the future assist today. Oh my god, was mashing, mashing. Um, and uh, running the hold that a assist for Super Saiyan Vegeta because I still believe it is his best assist and I still think it's one of the best assists in the game in general. And uh, I didn't get my raw tag there. That sucks. Oh, actually, did I even reflect the Vegeta assist? I don't think I did. I'm, I'm, my, my, my brain's not processing information quickly enough to even tell if I reflect the assist or not in time. I'm gonna spark here. On the beam assist and. I'm thinking on base Vegeta, I just tried the EX rocket kick there. Thinking I was going to cross him up, and that didn't work out at all. Thank you. What I tell y'all, if you call a beam assist, <laughs> be prepared for them to super dash. Alright, we're off to a much better start in this first match. I mean, he was kind of ha he kind of had the upper hand for a second, but we do take down the first character. Although we spent all of our bar, but we got rid of probably the biggest bomb character on the team, which is the UI Goku. I know how I feel about UI Goku. That being said, I feel the same way about Vegito. But honestly, I'm more concerned about his UI Goku than his Vegito. And also, he vanishes a lot. Um, hold on, let me not drop this. I didn't need to back that shit. Was stupid. In situations like that, he's uh, actually been doing re a lot of those really badly placed vanishes that are uh, very twitchable. Hold that, and um, I gotta capitalize on those more. I guess we'll keep Trunks on the level 1. I don't want to risk dropping the uh, ultimate Z change by trying to swap in another character. Very simple input, but just one of those things that sometimes in the heat of the moment, I just choke it when I need that input the most, so I'll just keep it simple for now. I meant to 2M the first time, and I did 2 well, so I tried to 2M after the fact, and I just, I was too late by that point. Got him. Um, da 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 Another thing I should probably mention, Nationals. Nationals, the schedule for Nationals finally got revealed. Um, if you're not familiar with what I'm... How did I not punish that? Um, if you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, the Dragon Ball Fighters Nationals are finally going to be taking place starting this weekend. Or actually starting on Friday. Um, I'll probably leave a link to the tweet because Bandai Namco Esports just tweeted it out. Um, just a, uh, not too long ago. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll probably... I, th I think I should probably get the go ahead to uh, stream that, re like restream it on Twitch. So I'll probably be watching, uh, you know, all the content live over on the stream. Which, by the way, the link's always in the description down below twitch.tv slash Thoros Asakura. You should pull up and, you know, come kick it with the Asakura clan. You feel me? Um, yeah, I thought about guard canceling there, but I was like, is it really worth it? It's just so Kefla. Like, I could try to react to the 6H. I didn't. So we lost Trunks. But Android 18 Vegeta is still a pretty strong duo. I've got two characters. He's got one. He's still got to work a lot harder than I do. We're going to barrier plus Vegeta assist. E blast. Disc. Super dash. I'll take it. Just zone him out. Just stand my ground. Like I said, he's got to come to me. He's the one who's got to make the comeback. I might as well lame it out when I got the upper hand. Just keep the advantage. If I stay composed like that in the second game, we should be able to take this. We should be able to take this. Alright, game uh, number two going on. Black Star Baki. I'm a bit stronger than I was before. <laughs> I see, you got a game off this time. Alright, he, he might he might fuck around and win the set this time. Thank you. I need to start 2 ming that though. Sometimes I do, but I don't do it often enough. Alright, that should be the end of uh, UI Goku. You know what, I actually am not entirely confident my ability to extend this here off Vegeta assist. But I did it, okay. That's the first time I've ever done that, so I wasn't really sure if my timing was going to be there or not. But fortunately, we pulled it off properly. DHC, two bars spent. Good shit. Otherwise, I would have had to spend three bars if I didn't extend that combo like that. Um, and if you're wondering why I'm running the assist that I am running, Destructo Disc Assist, I just feel just like blends well to both Trunks uh, and Vegeta. And then specifically, I'm running the beam because I want to run Super Saiyan Vegeta A assist. I feel like this is still his best assist, and it's great for neutral, great for combos, but particularly neutral. It's just like it's it's scrub killer the assist. By the way, it's me. I'm scrub killer, or I'm the scrub rather that gets killed. Um, but uh, 
if I'm going to be running Super Saiyan Vegeta A assist, well then I need somebody, I need a different assist to lock down. Destructo just doesn't really have good block stuns. I'm going to raw tag here, by the way. And um, Change the Future has none. I like it, it has even worse block stun, right? So I was like, well, I got to run the beam then. And it's not like any of these characters on this team don't like beam assist. Every character likes beam assist. I just actually prefer the Change the Future assist. And if you're wondering why I prefer Change the Future assist and, what, and why I usually run that um, as opposed to the beam, uh, for one, it's just what I'm more comfortable with, and I just feel like the way I play the game, it lends better to me. Um, it, it really helps me out a lot in neutral, uh, more than the beam does. I'm better at using Change the Future Assist than the beam. Uh, a lot of the combos I do with my characters are easier for me um, with Change the Future Assist than the beam. Assist. So it's, it's really just a matter of comfort, I guess. I just feel like I well, uh, overall just play better with Change the Future Assist, if I'm honest. I just haven't, I've never committed myself to learning how to properly use a beam assist, if I'm honest. Despite the fact that I played one for a very long time because I used to make Goku Black. It's not like a beam assist is particularly difficult to use, it's just, it's just what I'm used to, you know what I mean? Oh man, that didn't knock her back. I'm gonna guard cancel here. Okay, um, we're gonna hit the LK safe jump, see how he reacts. I'm calling, oh, he got hit. Oh shit. Ah, uh, yeah, that sucks. Because he actually got hit and I called Vegeta assist to back me up just in case, the supers ended up not connecting. That worked out really, really poorly for me because he got hit. <sighs> yeah, I, I tried to cover myself. I called Vegeta assist to keep me safe and it actually just ended up screwing me over in the end. That's unfortunate. Which, I mean, I didn't really need to do that in the first place because it's a safe jump. Like, I had nothing to be afraid of, but... I still wanted to cover myself with that assist and it cost me in the end. Kefla should be dead right now, but here we are. I'm gonna wake up DP. Okay, that didn't work. Probably because I did light DP, huh? Light light DP is only head in bull, right? It's not like fully in bull or something like that. Don't quote me on that. I'm asking more than I'm stating. Um, let's delay tech and do nothing. Did he just teabag me? While he's losing? You super dashed at the barrier? It's fine. I think I called that too late, yup. Okay, okay. Not looking too hot right now. Okay, it's solo Veg Vegito though. Gonna rock tag him. Rocket kick. You don't have to vanish there, but I did it just to be safe. It, that combo is a lot easier to confirm uh, if you vanish. And I have the bar, so I'd rather be safe than sorry in that scenario. That's all that was about. Beam assist, super dash. He didn't do it at that time. Okay, that's fine. Shit. It's okay. He jumps. <gasps> How did I drop that? Super dash. There it is. Every time I call a beam assist, especially against somebody like this where I've noticed that he does it, I'm looking for that super dash. That's going to be us taking things 2-1 over Black Star Baki. Got a game off of us this time, but we still do take the set. <laughs> now, if I could run into the player who I fought yesterday that was also running UI Goku, and I think he was playing Gogeta, that, that'd be quite the coincidence, and that'd also be pretty great. I'd like to try my odds against fighting him again. Uh, but anyway, good game's Black Star Baki, and uh, I'll see you around. And I'll see you guys when I find my next opponent. Hey, alrighty, and it looks like to end things off, we got a high-ranked Trunks mirror match. Super Saiyan Blue Evolve ranked player running Adult Gohan, Bardock, and Trunks. I've never been a big fan of running Adult Gohan and Bardock on the same team, but I guess now you can do it a lot better than you could before because of the B assist. Uh, and he's running all B assists for this team, it looked like. Adult Gohan B assist is the machine gun punches, right? And then Trunks beam, and then um, Bardock would be. Yeah, I mean, this is so. This is a team that I would like want to play if I played Adult Gohan, but I never like playing because you know me. I just usually throw anybody in front of Bardock and Trunks. But I actually, I would play this probably point because I think I would play Bardock point because I think point Gohan's not as good as mid Gohan. But yeah, running all BSs for this team definitely makes sense. Jump back off Vegeta says you want super dash? No, throw key blast. It's fine. That was supposed to be medium seventeen call. My guy was just trying to show me his sick movement, I guess. My man did, did nothing but like ID jump back, call key blast, or throw key blast and call assist right here. Oh wait, I'm not playing Chance of Future. I'll take that. Da, 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 da. You know what to do this. 
I dropped that for some reason. I could have killed Gohan there, but I choked it. Yep, 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 good shit. Um, is he gonna take sliding? Yeah, he just takes sliding. I'm gonna delay tech. I tried to reflect that super dash actually, but I delayed tech long enough to the point where the super dash didn't even um hit me, so there was no real point. I'm gonna spark here. Well, tag. Yeah, I I completely screwed up everything I wanted to do there. Is he gonna snap me? Why am I not getting my delays? I keep trying to delay my incoming off of snaps, and like I'm just not getting it lately. Uh, that, that will take this mid screen knockdown. That's fine. I was waiting for a reflect or something. He didn't do it. His legs? No, just stuck out that jam. Is it just me or is he playing a really mean ass game to keep away? Is it just me or is my guy playing a sick ass game of keep away? His adult Gohan neutral is very oh man. Very odd. Jump? Just, what? Oh, that should be a Dogohan dead. Who do I want to bring in? I guess Cheetah. Yeah, I'm bringing in Vegeta. Why not? You know, Super Saiyan Vegeta is definitely one of those characters I feel like can be played in any position. I'm playing him on Anchor on this team currently, but honestly, I've played Super Saiyan Vegeta before on point, um, just for fun, like on streams and stuff, and uh, it is, in fact, quite fun. Get off me. Didn't think he'd mash that. Is that the right call? <gasps> I thought it was going to be a Dragon Rush. He... I, he couldn't have wanted that, but I'm not sure what it was that he would have wanted. Tried to dash out. I almost did EX Rocky Kick thinking on base Vegeta. Hold that. I was about to do loops just now. I was about to do loops just now. I, like, I'm so used to playing base Vegeta that I really want to play Super Saiyan Vegeta like he's base Vegeta. But uh, I, I'm like... I'm, I'm like focusing really hard, even though it might not seem like it's overwrite my base Vegeta muscle memory right now. I didn't mean the 2 H thing. Oh, that 2 H got counter hit. My guy's playing pretty fast, but uh, kind of reckless. Level 3? Good shit. But do you have EX Flip Mix? If I see him flip, I'm just going to mash 2 H because I don't believe in anybody, the ability to do this. Oh, he didn't even flip. He went for a 6 M. I saw his feet leave the ground. What a match. You blocked a single jab and you... Well, I guess he thought I was going to tick throw. That's why. I wasn't. But... That was supposed to be a key blast, that second one. I didn't get my raw tag. Damn, that sucks. But yeah, that's... It definitely is a prime example of what Lord Knight says and what I've also said about... Uh, Take throw making the game a lot mashier than it already was because he immediately mashed it as soon as he blocked one jab, probably under the assumption that I was gonna go for take throw, and I didn't. That's not that was isn't at all what my plan was, but it actually worked out for him because I didn't stagger him very well. Nice five us. I feel like my guy's not taking a whole lot of time to think about what he's doing, he's constantly just moving. But that's a very um common thing I feel like in this game. He was mashing. We got a counter hit. Close game, but we do clutch it in the end. Taking the first game over a trash. I just realized his name is Trash. Nah, nah, nah. You're not trash. You just gotta slow down a little bit, I feel like. And figure out how to actually play a Toko on in neutral, because it's just constantly jump back, call Key Blast, and call out Bardock B assist in neutral when you're half screen. Uh, well, when you're full screen and he shows up half screen, it's not exactly how you're gonna get in with a Toko on. Waiting for the super dash, you didn't do it. There it is. Ah, I didn't call medium 17. I'm a scrub. We gotta work on that. We gotta work on that. So, working on implementing that into my muscle memory. I didn't call 17. Yo, what's good in here? Uh, DP? No, I actually didn't. I, actually, no, I tried to reflect Bardock there and I didn't get it. Um, level 1? In the DHC out, smart. You did what? Oh shit. Wait, why did you back up? 
Yeah, he just jumps back and throws key blasts a lot. It's not even just a Gohan thing. Like, he does it with shit. That's how you know I haven't been playing a lot of Super Saiyan Vegeta. Whenever you see somebody dive kick like that in the middle of their combo, that's the unfamiliarity. Because if you accidentally do uh, J2H into into L too soon, you'll get too well. And um, Or if you do L into J2H too soon, you'll, you'll get too well. And his 2 is a dive kick, which will really fuck you up. That's not what you're trying to do. Is that going to still combo? Okay, dude. He could have killed me, though. This isn't the combo he should have done. He could have done three level ones would have killed me. Or he could have extra powered up Gohan and probably got the job done. Okay, that gives me sliding. I'll take it. And we'll bring in Trunks. Alright, we got him to spend his spark. We get his Bardock down. We no longer have our sparking. We don't have a lot of bar, but we do have the character advantage. And he's only got level uh, 1 sparking, so it's not going to last too, too long anyway. Yep. He empty vanished, but he tried to push a button. Good blocks. Try to mash. It's going to be Gohan dead. And bring it in Android 18. Bringing in Android 18. Alright, 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 alright. Oh, I know this is mad random, but I've been reading Sailor Moon lately, uh, the manga, because I, I never have before, and I'm enjoying it quite a bit. And it's just, just wanted to know if any of you guys out there are Sailor Moon fans, and if you are, who is your favorite Sailor Scout? Just figured I'd ask that, because why not? Uh, if you're asking me, I'm not finished with the manga yet. When it comes to the manga, I'm only on volume 4 right now. So I, it's, it's probably just Usagi. Like, I actually just like Sailor Moon herself quite a bit as a character. I actually think she's probably the best character in the series, which makes sense she's the main character, but that's not always the case. In fact, it's usually not the case with a lot of manga I read or anime I watch because the main character is rarely my favorite. Um, but I like all the Sailor Scouts. I think if it, wasn't, if it wasn't Sailor Moon, it might be Mars. Mars or Mercury, I like them both a lot, but I like all of them. Venus. Um, and I haven't met the others yet, but I know about them, like Uranus and Saturn, and, uh, yeah, you know the vibes. Actually, I don't, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm wearing my Sailor Moon chain right now. Uh, my man's fighting for this comeback, but we're not gonna let it happen. He does take down the Android 18, but you still gotta get through my full health trunks, and before you even get to him, you gotta get through Super Saiyan Vegeta. The papa. Also, I'm gonna rock kick. I'm gonna do it again. I didn't mean to do that. Good to which. Yeah, that's, that's 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 one of those things that you just you just do a lot on accident when you're not used to playing a Super Saiyan Vegeta is that accidental dive kick. It's fine though. Mash immediately. Again, probably thinking I was gonna dragon rush. I'm gonna jump. Why did he back off on his plus fingers? He probably tried to 5S there. He had to have tried to 5S. I wanna I wanna guess. But you know what? We take those. Hit him with the vibe check. When in doubt, CTF out. You feel me? Um, and that's going to be us taking things 2-0 over Trash. Uh, but those are pretty good matches. Those are pretty good matches. But uh, yeah, that's going to be today's video. Hopefully you all enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Hit the do with a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. So you can stay tuned for all the awesome content I plan to bring you. And with all that being said, that's pretty much all of today. And remember, another capital to swim the butt. Later.